Hi everybody, so this is a quick part two to the first tutorial which is the boat and anchor bubble blanket. I knew it had cut off at the very last few seconds which was just me showing you how to join these two square corners together so that they match really nicely. So I've got literally right up to here and I had just a couple of stitches to go, which was the storage in my phone. So I'm just going to show you quickly. Uh, we just make sure they're joined up nice and neat. So here's our last stitch of the grey. So we go in there. We find our stitch here, which is where we tie them together at the back. So this is your panel on the back. You go in to that stitch. It's a bit tricky because it's been tied. And then you just continue again all the way up and this is how you finish the rest of your blanket so you just single crochet all the way up so we've done the anchor we've done the boat you need to do another anchor another boat actually two panels and then two more panels if you're doing four the same as me and then you can pick any border of your choice like I say I have got a few tutorials where I do use a certain border on all my bubble blankets so you can use that one or look around on YouTube pick another one like I say when you first do your stitches on it it's a bit tricky to start off with at the bottom once you get into it uh, it works up quite fast and it gives a lovely effect also with this single crochet so let's just have a look yep as you can see they've joined up lovely so we know that this pattern worked out so I should have just stuck with the original to start off with 32 rows, 32 rows in each. Like I say, the first tutorial, obviously you could see that the anchor was correct and the boat was correct. But I, I, when I was doing it, I was just putting my single crochet rows on. It didn't account for when I did my second panel. I wasn't counting the rows in between how many I'd done. So I hadn't really worked the pattern out properly. I just thought I'd be able to do it, which I didn't... So I should have just stuck to the original pattern, like I said, and there wouldn't have been no problem. But it's fixed now. So as you can see, that all fits lovely. So we have 32 rows in each. You just continue sewing all the way up, single crochet. When you get here, you'll have your anchor. So then you just make sure that your stitches all line up properly. So... Make sure that your corner of your grey anchor here, your last stitch goes into this stitch. And then we have this boat at the top. And then you just do as many panels as you want. You can't go wrong now on this, 32 rows in each. So yeah, my video stopped. I literally had a couple of seconds left to do and it went off, which I, I just knew it would because I was waffling again. Um, I have picked my next one to do. It's going to be a bobble art and a bobble butterfly. I think I might make it in three colours. A white, a darker pink and then a nice baby light pink. I'm going to make a panel up today. Um, 
so I can show you what it looks like. I don't, I don't just want to come on and just tell you what I'm making. I want you to see part of it at least, like the panel, first panel I did for this one. So it'll be exactly the same style, just a different design. So yeah, to be a butterfly and heart. I'm just going to finish this row. So at least at the minute I know that my phone holds one hour and 40 minutes approximately of video. So I will try when I do my next one to make sure I'll try and get the heart and the butterfly and the joining up together all in one tutorial. So if I know I've got an hour and 40 minutes, I'll know to um, stop waffling as much. So yeah, Steve, I uh, hope you like this tutorial and can follow it. And there was a lady who commented as well who was also following it. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry about the mix up on the first one. But yeah, as you can see, these all join up lovely. So if you just continue like that all the way up. Like I said, I've done four up. Boat, anchor, boat, anchor, anchor, boat, anchor, boat. And then we'll alternate as we go, well, as I go along. So this is your boat and anchor baby blanket. I don't know what colour you're doing it in yourselves. Uh, when you finish, if you'd like to take a photo of it, and I think you can upload it as a file into the comments. I'm not sure. It'd be lovely to see your work. But you can see how nice the edge is when you do this single crochet on it. So this is part two. Um, I hope you understood it okay. Uh, so I've showed you how to join in these corners. Just always, always make sure that when you're holding it, you hold it together so you've got the rows correct. So when you get to it to here, these two grey corners match. And then you just make sure you same when we come to here and then on the next one, which will be up here. So always make sure the two corners match. You're always going to that stitch where we've tied it together. If there's any more designs that you'd like me to do, um, just pop a comment down. I've got quite a few graphs. Um, I'm always looking around for the graphs as well, other designs in the bubble stitch. But yeah, I thought I'd do the uh, butterfly and the art one next. Cause that looks really nice. I thought I'd do that in three colours. So I'm going to try and get one panel of it done today so that I can upload what that looks like when I make it along with yourself so that you've got something to actually see before you start crocheting along with me. So I'm just going to leave this last stitch here until I've done my next square which will be the anchor okay so i hope you like the video the tutorial you've followed it okay like i say continue all the way up third panel continue all the way up um and then we do our fourth panel you can alternate whatever color you want do whatever color you want um any questions pop them down in the comment box i will answer you back I just really wanted to get this one up today because I know people have been making it. Um, but then couldn't continue it because of how I wrote the pattern down. So I really, really am sorry about that. Like I said, I'm still new to YouTube. So I'm still learning as I go along. 
but that edge is lovely as you can see it's really nice and straight I mean you can just make these in squares if you want 32 32 32 32 32 make them all as squares um join them all together with single crochet and then join them all across with single crochet which is what i've done on some of my baby blankets the heart ones so where you have a seam just going up you'll have a seam going all the way around the square so instead of just color changing you can just make this boat for instance stop make your anchors so make all your boats up make all your anchors up then just sew them together individually so all the way up and then across with a single crochet which is exactly the same as going up you just make sure you, when you get to where you are if you are doing it that way that all the four corners meet together and you've got them all on the up So I should upload this one, get this up, so this will be up uploaded today because it's not that long. The one last night took, I think, five hours to upload once I've finished it. Um, yeah, this, so like I said, this is only a short tutorial just to finish that um, last few stitches off. So, yeah, so the grandkids are here, children are here. So I'll have some jobs to do and then I will get on to the butterfly and the heart baby bubble blanket. And the border for it will be the one that I normally make, which is in one of my first tutorial. So you just add that on um, or like I say, pick any other tutorial that you want to pick. Uh, for your border so I think I've done enough rambling I hope you understood how we joined it together here any questions pop them down in the uh, comment box and I will message you back okay thanks for watching bye